Okay, so volume is going to talk about three-dimensional objects and it, volume is about the space that's inside them. Okay, so here's an example of the shapes that you could see. Cones, cubes, cylinder, pyramid, rectangular prism, or a sphere. Okay, so find the volume of a cylinder that has a diameter 14 and a height of 10. So you can find the shape, you don't need to draw this, but this is the shape on your, that you're looking for. A cylinder, we know the height is 10, and we know the diameter is 14. Okay, so formula sheet, can you copy this down? Find the volume. So volume is going to be a V. Pi, that's still pi. And what can I replace R with? Seven, good. Did you spot that out? Because 14 is not the radius, right? It's a diameter. OK, so 14 is a diameter. So the seven is a radius. Okay, so seeing that, so seven squared times 10. Okay, so you need to run that all through your calculator at once. Does everybody know where their pi button is? Because you're not allowed to use 3.14. That's not what you're doing. You're using the pi button. Bless you. In this unit, you will be going to two decimals. So practice your rounding. You're going to round to two decimals. Matching. And then we need to put something on the end of it. So on this unit, I will be taking off points if you don't put the right units on. So how do you do a volume? It's in centimeters cubed. Cubic. Cubic. OK? <coughs> Okay, finding the volume of a sphere. So on your formula sheet, this is the object you're looking for. The volume formula that you found on your sheet. Okay, so now information that I can put in, the radius is nine. So that can go in for the radius. Okay, because this is all multiplying and dividing, you can just straight type it, okay? It doesn't hurt to put brackets on and then divide by three, that doesn't hurt, okay? It's good practice just in case we get formulas without that. But because it's multiplying, dividing, the order of operations shouldn't matter, right? Multiply, divide doesn't matter. The order there. Okay, so give me that. And if anybody can give me a little, little nod or something that they are match, got some? Okay. Okay, the next is a volume of a rectangular prism. Okay, so it's like a box, rectangular prism is a box. So the side lengths are, there's a four, a six, and an eight. Okay, 
Okay, so finding a formula. So find your formula that would match on your sheet. Okay, so length times width times height. It doesn't matter what you're labeling what. It'll all, doesn't matter if I put a four, six, an eight, or an eight, six, four, that doesn't matter. You just make sure you're timesing the three of them together. Oh, bless you. Okay, so what am I expecting of you? I don't need you to write the formula down. That's okay. I, I would like you to start at this step, okay? If you want to write the formula down, that's great. If you feel like, oh, I don't need to, I, I have to have you at least starting on this line, okay? So does that make sense? If you like to write this formula down, you can. If not, I expect you to show me at least this as your first step, okay? That would be my expectation. Make sure you're rounding two decimals. Make sure you have a unit on the end.